I just got off the phone with a friend of mine in Canada. We were discussing artwork and uh, tools and stuff like that. Um, she asked me what kind of tools would be best for something she's working on. And then I had an email from somebody earlier and asking the same questions. Um, and they asked me what tool would I suggest they use, and I said, you know, these glyptic tools, they got uh, different sizes. Let's see if I can get this dog. Lift it up here. I'm going to work on the small dog right now. And uh, they've got different size wire loops to match different size handles. Let me see if I got one of the bigger ones around here. Yep. They got them from a bigger size to uh, the smallest size. And uh, what's nice about them is that you can uh, change the heads. They, they don't cost hardly anything. Just a, under $5 for a wire head. And, and then you can have a whole different uh, sculpting tool. This one has two ends on it, but I, I'm not using one end. I'm just using the one end here. Um, but you don't have to worry about them breaking or, or getting loose or anything like that. And, uh, so anyway, so to my friend in Canada, who I just got off the phone with, um, uh, there you are. All right, well, I'm going to get busy on, uh, the small dog because I need to get, uh, that ready to go to the founder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him back about a half inch on uh, his base. And uh, so let's get this uh, marked out. Now that's where the wire goes into the uh, base right there. And so I'm going to mark that. And bring it back directly back behind the leg. That's where I'll drill my hole. And uh, do the same thing with the other leg, where it goes into the wire, I mean into the base. Get this guy out of the way. Now again, you're going to hear my heater going on. It's cold outside. It's in uh, the 30s right now. It's supposed to snow. Yeah, as it gets colder outside, you're going to hear a lot more of that heater. Guaranteed. Now, it's late at night. It's almost 9. Actually, it's after 9. I wanted to get to this earlier today, but just got distracted a lot. See if I can lift the dog up. There he comes. Now he's on this screw that I'm going to change its position. There we go. Got him up without damaging him too much. It'll give me a chance to work underneath the dog too. All right, let's get, let's get that out of the way. I think what I'm going to do to support his movement there is to put some wires in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
All right, this uh, photo actually is almost exactly the same length as uh, this dog. That's kind of interesting. And uh, since it seems to be the right length, where's my... Oh, there it is. So, let's just see how off I am on the legs. Yeah, see, I'm way off on the legs. All right, well, that's what I got to do. All right. Now, I've got my aluminum wire. And let's just see. Let's go ahead and take care of this. Now, I've got a pair of pliers around here. Oop, there we go. Yep, that's him. All right. Isn't that strange that that came out exactly right? Anyway. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm bending this so that I can melt this into the body of the dog. Let's just check and make sure I got that right. No, it's not the right length. I need to take off about that much. Yep. That's the perfect length. All right, now I need to melt it into the body of the dog. And I got Bennett to go in, but I also bent it to go sideways so it'll keep it from moving. And now I just need to find my lighter. That one gets tossed. There we go. Uh, put this in the jaws. I want to really heat this up. All right, let's lift him up about that far. Yeah. Now let's light that again. Push it into his body as best I can. Oops. Okay, I'm going to uh, leave that to set overnight. It's got to cool down and set up right where the shoulder is. I took the piece of clay out from underneath. But before I put all the weight <coughs> on these wire uh, things, I need to, uh, see his foot's going to go way out to here. But uh, can't do that until tomorrow. So I'm just going to let that cool off, get stiff, and then that'll hold it in place, hopefully. And then uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow.